y'all. How is everyone doing today? Today I'm here because I am out shopping, trying to get some stuff done. But I was like, I'm hungry. Let me do a quick mukbang. So today I am having Dairy Queen. This is just their cheeseburger. And a fry. And a cold drink. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Thanks for watching today. I want to apologize ahead of time for my nails. I decided to do yard work, and this is what happened. And my appointment is not till next week. And where I go, they do not play. If you miss your appointment, you have to pay a deposit to make another one if you don't call them ahead of time. Huh. I'm out and about. I realize a People actually do not like to speak. People really don't like to speak. Get all up in that goodness cheese. Mm. Day I've been passing people and you know I know I'm kind of different because I love to speak I love to say good morning you know how you doing but people just purposely turn away from you so they can't speak I don't know I like you know, a quick nod, like, how you doing? That's fine. Mm -mm, they had that head all the way turned around. Mm -mm. Well, they'll look down. Mm. This burger is really pretty good. I've never had one of their burgers before. And I have had their chicken strips, which is amazing. That, I mean, it's really good. I mean, for Dairy Queen. But, I've started back going to the gym. Time to get it together. Played around all winter. And, I joined Crunch Gym. I love it and I love it now when the people take you through you know so you can see the building see what they got see the programs all this that and other the last room was the hydri hydration or hyd hydration hydration they have the hydration beds mm, mm, mm. Let me tell you. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Mm, we get juicy on the inside too. Mm.
So it's a massage bed. And most of y'all probably already know. But I didn't. <clears throat> it's a massage bed. But under, it pulsates water that shoot up and vibrate, you know, and pulsate all the way from top to bottom. Like warm water. And you can set it to go fast. You can set it to go slow or, you know, um, more water or less water or whatever. Mm. Oh, my gosh. I sat in that chair and pushed that button. And that water got to going and hitting. And I was like, oh. And it go all the way to, like, right here. When you lay your head back, it go all the way down. And you just like, oh, the water just... It just, uh, you just go in and go all the way to your ankle. Mm. It's only 10 minute sessions though. So before I leave the gym, I'm going to hit the hydration room every time. You know, when I do my mukbangs. I'm going to try to eat, you know, stuff like this. Healthy food as well. Mix it up a little bit. You know, because I don't... <clears throat> off camera, away from mukbangs and stuff, I'm just going to be totally eating, like, you know, my baked chicken or whatever that, you know, salad, this, that, and the other. I think I'm going to do me a salad mukbang. Oh. Mm hmm If you think a salad mukbang would be good, let me know in the comments. I can't believe it's a person in Michigan that don't have one of those Obama phones. I don't even understand how they still out. I just feel like everybody already got one. But I think you can get one every six months, is it? It is what it is. It is what it is. But they don't really be trying to get you to get them. They just kind of be sitting there. And just they feel like I'm here, come to me. Hmm. Now, we went down, me and my husband went down to the Detroit Plaza downtown. And at the time, they was doing the techno fest. We had never went before. And we was already downtown walking around just trying to fill our day up. So we was like, let's go up in there. Then we went over, we walked over there. They had it all locked up. Now, Hot Plaza is a place you go and you can just walk through. You know, it's open. You can walk in, see the festivities, whatever, and so forth. But for this one, I guess for some of them, they like close them up, you know, and you have to go get tickets. So we're like, okay. 
let's go grab us some tickets. You know, we down here and see. So we walked up to the lady. And she was like, um, okay, it'll be 1.30. I was like, for both of us? Or I was like, per person. That's what I said. I was like, per person? She was like, yes. I said, <laughs> oh my gosh. Me and my husband, I was like, thank you. Turned right around $130 for an outside event that's mostly open to the public, we paying $130. I can't even risk paying $130 just to get in there to see what's worth $130. $130, I just don't feel like they should be charging us for outdoor events to get in an outdoor event. Like you blocked it off to where we gotta get in and now we gotta pay you. On top of the fact when you get in there, excuse me, you're going to buy something, something to drink, something to eat, because you're going to be down there for some couple hours. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, who paying them to be down there? Are we the people paying for them to be down there? Because at $130, Per person, and when I say it was hundreds of people, hundreds, 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 at a hundred and thirty dollars a walk, and people was out there trying to sell them. What they call them? When they trying to sell those um, scalp? They were scalping tickets. I was like, oh no, not messing around with that. I don't know who you are. So. I don't have time to go to jail on my chill downtown and relax day. Nope. Mm -mm. And I was having a good day. Now you keep your tickets. I mean, how much was they going to be? A hundred? No. Mm -mm. You know what made me so sick? I parked next to this car, right? Hold on, hold on. I didn't even know I was getting bacon. It got bacon on it too. Look at that, it's still bacon. I don't, mm, that's all you don't even know what you order. A good burger. So this is my first time eating today, but no, that's a good burger. You don't have to go to no five star place to get no good burger. But anyway, I parked next to this car. It was like a four year old boy. Right outside the car. I guess it was his daddy that was in the car with the door open, kind of cocked open. The boy right there, this man rolling a blunt right there with the boy right there. Now, the ultimate disrespect is the fact that your child is there. And you're rolling it. The second most disrespectful thing is, yeah, you all out in the public, like you just don't even care. You right out public, anybody could have pulled up. I could have been a, a undercover police officer. You don't know who I could have been when you. When I pulled up, you got your child right there at the door, and you rolling up. So now I'm just sitting here because that's what I do when I see stuff that's so damn disrespectful and stupid. Then there was a lady that walked up, and by now, he done finished it. He done rolled it all up. Gave it to her. 
And they got that smoke on. Right there with the child. Don't get me wrong. I ain't got nothing to do with what people really do with their lives and all of that, what their choices are. But just around your little three, four-year-old baby out in the public, I just think certain things need to be kept private, even if you can do it out in the open. For real, and away from kids. It's a nice day today. It ain't too hot. It ain't raining. The sun is jumping in and out, but the wind kind of blowing a little bit, not too much. You can taste the char in a burger like that char. I remember being able to take to taste this char with Burger King like 20 years ago. Let me tell you something. Anybody my age or older, or maybe a little bit younger than me, nothing past nothing under 35. Remember when McDonald's, you can smell a McDonald's 50 miles away, okay? You knew before seeing when you was around a McDonald's. And if you didn't know, your kids was going to tell you because you could smell it. You could smell the Whopper. You could smell it like you just, I mean, I'm sorry, not the Whopper, the Big Mac. You can smell it. Even with Burger King, too. Back to, man, you can smell the charbur. But now when you drive by, really seriously, just pay attention. And just see when you drive by McDonald's or Burger King, see if you smell that what I'm saying. When you used to could just be like driving and it'll just pull you into this. It'll pull you right in there because the smell was so strong. Not now. Mm-mm. Not now. Mm, mm, mm. That burger just don't seem like it should be a Dairy Queen, but I'm going to be very honest. I haven't ate anything out of Dairy Queen that I didn't like. I like how they do that toast with your chicken strips, and it'd be a little buttery and a little crunchy and moist too. Mm. They're clean on point with their food. They on point. Ice creams. They um. They on point. Right, y'all. I got to go and get in this grocery store. And of course, it was good talking to you. And you know I have to do it. I have to ask you. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future videos. Give me a thumbs up. And share it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.